impact on Gary Condit's future. There's still no official word whether the seven-term Democrat will retire, but those close to the congressman tell Fox News he has decided not to seek an eighth term. If that is the case, should Condit be allowed to keep his seat on the House Intelligence Committee? And how much could he really accomplish as a very tarnished lame duck? Joining us now in Los Angeles, Fox News political analyst and USC law professor Susan Estrich. In Denver, Mario Giordello, columnist for PoliticalUSA.com. And here in our New York studio is California State Democratic Party Chair Art Torres. Good to see all of you. Good to see you. Art, let me start with you. You've heard from no one inside the Condit camp. That's correct. One way or the other? One way or the other. Because I've been reading that, that basically Condit set out some sort of signals so that people like Dennis Cardoza, a longtime ally of his, could ramp up to prepare to run for that seat. And that that's how the word got out. It's not, not it's not going to take too much time to ramp up uh, a good candidate. Dennis Cardoza is one of them. Michael Machado, the state senator for that area, is one. Uh, uh, Jim Costa, another state senator from that area, is another good Democratic candidate. It's not going to take a lot of, of energy to ramp it up because there will be a campaign, coordinated campaign in that area. And I think we'll be very well prepared uh, for the regular election. Susan, if uh, if he does decide not to run, for as long as he is there uh, in Congress, do you think he's going to be allowed to, to stay on intelligence just because nobody wants to deal with it anymore? They just figure, all right, our problem is going away. Let's just leave him on intelligence. I think you've got the brilliant solution that the brilliant, distinguished gentlemen and women in Congress will come up with, actually. I mean, I think it's a terrible embarrassment. I think the people of his district have a right to demand better representation. But as for the folks in Congress, I don't think they'll want to touch this one with a 10-foot pole, which is the problem, ultimately. Yeah, and, and down the road. Now, Mario, this is probably going to make you smile big because people say that, you know, we see a lot of second acts in, in political life. I want to show you something that Joe DeGeneva said about Gary Condit's future and the concept of maybe running, I don't know, later or again this time around. Take a look. All right. He, uh, he may decide to run as an independent in spite of the effort of the Democratic Party to redistrict him out of his seat and make him an unpopular type of Democrat to run in the new district. It would be unusual, but the last few years have shown us that anything is possible in American politics. I wouldn't be surprised if he did decide to run as an independent if not a Democrat. Mario, what do you think? Well, first of all, the redistricting helps him in the general election. They say even Gore would have won by 9% <laughs> if this was the way it was. Uh, but in the primary, if it's a crowded primary, uh, he's going to keep his 30 or 40 percent base that believe he's doing a good job in Congress. And if, if other people participate, more than one, they break all those other votes up. This could be the greatest comeback in political history. All right. All right. I want to get your comments also about something else. Um, a columnist wrote something really interesting about, you know, do you remember when Bob Dole said, where is the outrage? Mm -hmm. Right? Well, it may apply here because I want to show you something that uh, columnist Andrew Sullivan wrote. And his, the title of the column was Sympathy for the Devil in Defense of Gary Condit. Gary Condit. I hate to interrupt a thoroughly enjoyable lynching. I know I must be deranged not to appreciate his obvious guilt, banality, loathsomeness, and every other human failing pinned to his blow dried head. But what exactly has Gary Condit done wrong? Just makes you wonder if all of a sudden people are going to start changing a mindset about this guy. As loathsome as, for example, the Levy family finds him, is something weird happening about what people think of this guy? No, it's human nature. People are willing to forgive. And, and I've always said that to Gary, to, to this first comment should have been to ask for forgiveness because people in this country believe that people deserve a second chance. And I think that what we are finding out is, again, consistently confirmed. He's never been found to be a suspect in, in this situation. He's never been found to uh, have allegedly violated the, the laws as we can determine. Character flaws, judgment flaws, yes, of course. But is that enough to kick somebody out of, of Congress? And I think Joe's uh, comment about running as an independent, I don't think Gary would ever do that. Uh, but I don't think that would ruin the chances of a Democrat winning that seat ultimately. Okay, Susan, what do you think? Uh, any chance that Gary Gary Condit will suddenly, I don't know, revive and... I, I hope not. I mean, I, I think this says something really terrible about us if he can. I mean, let's be honest. I don't think this is just about sex. I know Andrew Sullivan, and Andrew likes to take the contrarian position, and I'm happy to take a contrarian position and say that nobody in Washington should be casting stones about sex. But here was this man with a young woman he'd been having an affair with, had disappeared, 
Her parents are hysterical. And does he do everything he can to help find her? No, he lies to cover his own political rear. And in my book, that's about character. It's not about sex. And he doesn't deserve a second act after that. Mario, let's talk about another well, potential answer, career uh, option. The answer to that first? Yeah, okay. I, I, well, I think the important thing is whether the constituents believe or, or, or side with you, you or not on that. Uh, we may deplore his character, but if his constituents believe he's a good politician, that may override his sexual exploits. I mean, you mean sort of like the way Marion Barry found his way back into office? <laughs> I mean, if he can get back I mean, back I'm just into, asking. That's true. You know what? That's the, the, the best, the greatest ever political comeback. If he can do it, then I believe Condon could do it too. Well, the Bob Barr, like, Georgia, and others they? across the board, both Republicans and Democrats have had you know, resurrections. Sure. Right. But it, it contributes to this atmosphere, unfortunately, that says that all politicians are in a bunch of crooks, that the reason they don't deal with Condit is because Republican and Democrat, they're doing the same thing. And I think, unfortunately, for those of us who care about politics and public policy, it's a sad legacy of our times. All right, no, Susan and oh, Mario, I'm hang sorry. on for just one second, okay. and you'll get your turn right after the break. Stand by, everybody. When we come back, we're going to move the